I know y'all love my relationship goals. Relationships, how to bag you a baller. Ladies, how to bag you a baller. I gotta make, I gotta make my, my relationship thing. Boop. How to bag you a baller. Ladies, Lil Miss Sunshine, you got your notebook? How to bag you a baller. Nah, no, no, listen. This was kind of like real. This is like a real thing. I was on Shannon Sharp show Wednesday and he said something, man, that was like, that's what, that's what it is. Ladies, to secure a man, to secure a man, the number one thing you need to relate to that man, when he asks you, what do you bring to the table? This is your answer moving forward. I bring protecting your empire. That is the best answer that you can ever tell a man. Protecting the empire, protecting the name, protecting the relationship. Oh, it, ooh, the comfort, the comfort a man will have. You protecting the brand I built, no matter what happens, no matter if we break up or nothing, you not gonna throw no dirt on the, the, the brand? That's, there, there's, there's no, oh my, oh my God. Now, when you think about that, think about the people, right? You know, Vanessa Bryant, right? You never heard her say anything about anything that ever went on. When it was going, when that happened out, you didn't see her bashing and this and this. When all the women were trying to rally on her and do, nah, I'm not for that brand. That's my kid's legacy. That's my legacy. We are the Bryants. My kids is the Bryant name. I'm not going to mess up the brand. So when you think about women who got divorced and those wives never said anything, you see those wives are not struggling. When we make that struggle, is the ones that you got kids with a man and you saying all these things he did. And your, when your kids put their jersey on, they play sports as they like, it's that. It's the person you done talk shit about. It's his last name. Some real shit, though. Like, you got to understand. Like, like, no, no, I don't throw no shots at her because, you know, I know her. Like, Tori Hart. There's just things with the last name you just can't do. Who is the, who is the mega star? Your ex or his enemy? Who is the 300? Who's going to keep moving on in life? Your ex or the enemy, right? Who you getting child support from? Your ex or the enemy? Ah, you want your own. Do you think you're going to get it by being nice to your ex or your enemy? Yeah, see, I mean, I'm, I'm just going to throw this out there. Just going to throw it out there. You go on tour with your ex. I mean, with your enemy, with your ex enemy. What What if you was actually friends with your ex? I mean, he's putting all these black people along. See, the fact that you threw shots at him early, you aren't a comedian. You are an actress. And the guy who's in every movie writing movies if you was friends with him, how easy would your life be? See, it's easier to friend the ex because I can leverage child support, right? Hey, I can get you this job, this job, and you know, I'll pay you one, two million dollars, you know, you know, boom, boom, boom. I, I can make it up to you through the company budget. When somebody wants me, hey, you know, can you put my my ex in a movie? The power is. The willing to not speak when you're angry. You build my bag or my bag is getting built, you get crumbs from it. Now, I want you to think about what crumbs sound like. Crumbs is crumbs, right? Let's say I get a loaf, I have a loaf of bread. One loaf of bread for me, two slices of bread for my BM, right? A whole bread, a whole loaf, you get two slices. If you go in there damaging the name because you upset and now my full loaf went to a loaf, you don't get two slices of half a loaf. You get maybe a quarter of the loaf of the of the of the one piece now, right? Now every loaf I get, you get two slices. So you I got two loaves, you got four slices, and so on, to the point where I'm making so much money, you got your own loaf yourself. Hence why it's hard for y'all women when you damage the name, it's hard for you to get another relationship with another person that has a name. You know why? We see what you're capable of. We see what you do when shows back. We seen what you did with him. Why would I put myself in that situation? I know what you're gonna do with me. So therefore, ha, you're just gonna get slutted out. And usually you're gonna just get slutted out 
with a whole bunch of people that don't have a name, but you got the name. So they're going, oh, you, 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 this person. Oh, yeah, let me go ahead and get it. They're not going to take you seriously because they know a serious relationship with you. You're going to call their asses out publicly. You're just going to get a banged out punani when you talk shit about your famous ex and you're trying to holler at another famous nigga.